Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at genetic modification using transgenes to create transgenic organisms. Uh, we'll first define what those are, uh, then look at the method for gaining these transgenic organisms, the recombinant DNA, uh, and then we'll have a look at an example of Bt cotton. Uh, so firstly to define, so a transgene is a genetic modification where a gene from one species is implanted into the genome of another species to create a transgenic organism. So another thing, science, the explanation's in the name. So trans means across, um, gene meaning a section of DNA. So it's taking a section of DNA from one organism and then putting it across uh, the species barrier into another organism, uh, where hopefully it will produce the same protein uh, or enzyme that it produced in the uh, original organism. Now we call these uh, organisms that have been modified by having a transgene inserted into them, transgenic organisms. The process by which scientists create transgenic organisms is through the use of recombinant DNA. Now this is the same or a very similar process to that which is used in G-cloning in plasmids. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, check that out because it'll go into a little bit more detail about how the cutting occurs. So basically what happens, and I just want to note that this is a very simplified explanation, uh, but you get the genome of the donor organism, the one that has the gene that you want, uh, whatever that may be, uh, and you identify where that target gene is and then use restriction endonucleases or CRISPR, Cas9, to cut that target gene out of the genome. You then take the genome of the target organism and cut it uh, at the point where you want to insert that gene into. So it's been cut and it's got the sticky ends on um, either side of that DNA. We then take the target gene and insert it into the genome of the organism and bond it together with ligase and that will create our transgenic genome. So you can see that there's the original um, genome of the organism and we've got our transgene uh, that sits in that genome. Then you take that transgenic genic genome and put it into a zygote uh, similar to uh, the process of cloning uh, into the nucleus and then that zygote will be implanted into a surrogate and that uh, blastocyst embryo will be born as a transgenic organism. All right, let, let's have a look at an example of where scientists have done this. A really good example he, used here in Australia is Bt cotton. Uh, now this is a genetically modified crop. So you can see here in the picture uh, is the cotton bowl, which is one of the stages of um, cotton being um, before it flowers. Um, and the cotton boll worm is a pest that eats this cotton boll and is bad for the crop. Um, so what they've done is they've created a genetically modified cotton called Bt cotton, which contains a gene from a soil bacteria, which is Bacillus thuringiensis, which is where the Bt comes from. Uh, and that uh, gene causes the cotton to produce a chemical, which is a toxin to the boll worm. Um, fine for other species, but the boll worm, the pest, uh, doesn't like it and therefore avoids uh, the Bt cotton. Um, and the ones that are sold in Australia also have other transgenes in them uh, that give them, for example, resistance uh, to Roundup and stuff like that too. Um, so there's many different transgenes that we see in uh, the agriculture industry. In this video, we've talked about transgenes, a gene that is taken from one species and placed into another to produce a transgenic organism. Uh, we've talked about recombinant DNA, so the process by which we cut the gene out of one genome and insert it into the other genome uh, using enzymes, uh, so such as restriction endonucleases or CRISPR-Cas9. Uh, and we've looked at an example of that, Bt cotton, that has a gene from a soil bacteria to prevent it from predation by the pest, the cotton bollworm. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.